Hello, this is Josh from Advanced Camping, bringing you another video tour. This one of an all new 2023 Pleasure Way Ascent. Uh, so this baby is an absolute beauty. It's gonna have Pleasure Way's five year warranty, uh, simply unmatched in the business. The reason they give such a long warranty is build quality. Um, you will have sort of a build quality second to none here. Each one of these Pleasure Ways are handmade. Um, and they're absolutely gorgeous inside and out. So let's take a look at this uh, new 2023 Ascent of ours. Uh, it's in, of course, the silver exterior. A nice uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, aluminum wheels here. Nice running boards. We do have a lighted power awning here that does have a wind sensor on board too. So if it does get too windy, it'll automatically bring itself back in, which is uh, a very nice feature. Uh, we'll have some uh, porch lights out here in addition to that. And we can actually dim those porch lights and even the light that's on the awning, we can dim that. So every light on here is dimmable. So that's kind of a cool touch, I think. Uh, we'll have some outside outlets here, which is always nice for plugging in any sort of accessories. Uh, if you're camping right next to your awning, which certainly a lot of people do. Um, and we have an inverter generator on here. That's sort of the latest and greatest. Uh, they're fuel injected, so they don't need to be exercised as often as the, car the old carbureted uh, generators had to. And I would say they're about half as loud. Uh, meaning they're the same decibel level as my conversation to you right now, maybe even a little quieter. Um, I would even put it very close to where the engine is idling. It's gonna sound very similar to the engine idling, maybe a little bit quieter, just depends kind of on the acoustics. It's about the same level though. So, uh, and that's gonna give you power enough uh, for quite a while. Days uh, should be really, if you're talking air conditioning, cause that will, automatically turn on and off and we'll kind of touch base on that a little bit later um, with the automatic generator starts and our touch screens so uh, we do have uh, quick connects underneath here for propane right underneath there if you want to hook up a gas grill these uh, three liter v6 uh, turbo diesels are quite the haulers you can tow 5,000 pounds with them which is best in class in terms of towing uh, so you get uh, quite a long range on the Mercedes as well. You get a 500 mile range on a fuel tank, uh, 18 to 22 miles to the gallon, and 5,000 pounds uh, in terms of towing. So it will definitely tow the most out of any um, of our brands that uh, are, well, any of the chassis that are made for Class B motorhomes. So let's take a look at the back here. Okay, so we're gonna have some lithium batteries um, that's what this is right in here. Uh, it's all covered, so you know there's no need to get at them or anything. They are no maintenance batteries or anything. Um, I like that they kind of give you sort of a inward storage there, so they really are giving you the maximum amount you possibly can. So you have a little, um, for a little additional storage next to that, where um, on every other model that they carry, that isn't there. Uh, so it's nice they give you just a little bit extra. So this may actually have the most uh, rear storage out of any of the Pleasure Ways, now that I'm looking at it, as it has that additional storage uh, next to the battery box there. So that is kind of uh, nice, definitely. Uh, we will have screens for the side and rear here, so you can completely screen this off. Uh, the side off, use that uh, center fan, creates a beautiful cross breeze throughout the whole machine. The vast majority of the time, you don't even need to use air conditioning. It's really just, you know, if, if you're talking 100 degree heat, 90 degree heat, and humidity is really what gets you. So it's real humid and sticky. Uh, that's what your air conditioner is for. And you could run that for days on the generator, no problem, in one spot if you wanted to. Uh, so let's take a look at this side of our coach here. So we're going to have, uh, this is going to be venting from our Truma furnace. We do have a tankless water heater. And what's really cool about our uh, Truma tankless water heater is this actually has a recirculating 12 volt water pump in there. 
So you actually get um, hot water at each tap right away. So what that means is instead of uh, you know running your faucets like at home until you get hot water at home, no big deal. With holding tanks, however, you're you, you know you're sort of wasting water from your fresh tank and filling up your gray tank when you're doing that. Where here you're going to have hot water even on the outside shower here. Uh, it's going to give you hot water right there immediately as soon as you turn that on so as to not waste any fresh or fill up the gray tank um, either way. So quite a nice system there. Um, there are other ones that do similar things, but um, this is the only one I'm aware of anyway. Uh, the Pleasure Way, I should say, is the only manufacturer that has it to the 12 volt recirculating pump to all of the spigots. And you don't have to think about it. So you don't have to like turn it on or off. Um, it just works. So I like that a lot. We have a little utility center here and we're gonna have our propane on off switch here i like that a lot we don't have to crawl underneath the coach to twist a valve uh, i really wish that would go away <laughs> um you know we are in uh, 2023 now um so if you're listening to this guys um let's get rid of those valves and let's get something like this uh that we can just turn on <clears throat> excuse me turn on and off uh, that is certainly much more helpful than going underneath the coach as nobody really wants to do that uh, as often as you have to to turn the gas on and off. Uh, city water connection, a cable TV connection if you so desire, and your power hookup will be right there as well. Very nice. We will have our uh, outside shower right here, which is just a spigot with hot and cold. And, um, you know, it's an excellent utility shower. Uh, you know, it doesn't fill your gray tank again. So I've even heard of people doing dishes. That makes sense. Very smart. Um, as it, you know, won't fill up that gray tank. Certainly good for pets, rinsing your feet off, whatever the case may be. Okay, I'm seeing a storm coming in here. So I'm going to try and get us inside as soon as possible. This right here is uh, going to be where we're going to drain uh, the black and gray tanks. It's going to have a whole parking radar system all throughout. So you have a, you know, a really, really nice view uh, all around you and a radar system that's going to show you uh, how close the obstacles are. Uh, and this is going to be one of our touch screens here. And I'm not sure how you, much you can see here. But it's quite intuitive. Uh, you know, you can set your temperature there. You can adjust what mode you want. Tell your battery level. Um, you know, I do do a walkthrough with you too to show you how everything works. But as you can see, it is pretty straightforward. There's nothing terribly tricky on it or anything like that. And you have the same touchscreen panel in the rear, uh, right by where the TV is there. Uh, so you can control, you know, the sofa, the awning, whatever uh whether you know you're up front here or in the rear in the lounge area or slash bedroom so that works out nicely and yeah we have a nice high-rise faucet this pulls out um you know to do some dishes if you had to uh, you have a nice stainless steel sink here pretty deep too pretty good size definitely for a 19 foot and change motorhome definitely good sized uh, we'll have our refrigerator, microwave. What I like is this kind of, um, what would you call this? Not a medicine cabinet. Um, spice rack, I guess you could call it a pantry. Sliding pantry is really the best way to put it. You have uh, sort of slow close latches on all of the door, uh, drawers, which I love. Uh, absolutely love that. And, uh, you know, just creates less banging around when you're, cooking or getting you know prepping something just creates so much less noise and makes it more of a relaxing experience uh, especially if you're like me you like to cook some food uh, but don't want to make a lot of racket uh, especially if someone's taking a nap or something like that is this is your leisure time after all <laughs> all right induction stove love these guys they're incredibly safe so perfect for RVs uh, they, as soon as you remove the pan, it's essentially a big electromagnet. So as soon as you remove 
the pan from the electromagnet, it becomes cool to the touch immediately. So there's no open flame and it actually boils water faster. So it cooks a little bit faster than a traditional gas or electric element. So it's gonna be a little faster, uh, more efficient. It doesn't take a lot of battery power up either like an electric skillet would. Uh, as it's simply just activating that electromagnet. So really smart idea and uh, doesn't take up much space. I really like that. You can even add a second one in here. I mean, it, they're literally like that thick underneath. So they're very, very light and very, very portable. So you could plug one in really anywhere in here uh, if you wanted a second burner or one outside or something like that. Uh, they're not terribly expensive, very portable. But there is one built in, uh, which is quite nice. So let's take a look at our bathroom. Just hope we don't start steaming up as it's quite humid uh, with this storm coming. I do apologize if it starts to do that. Okay, so we have our porcelain bowl foot flush toilet. So we do have a little bit of a, a sink in the bathroom here. Now, here's where you start getting into some pros and cons, okay? Um, the sink in the bathroom. Some people can't live without it. Um, some people can't live with it. I would say your stature plays a, a factor in that. Me being a bigger guy. Oh, let, me just, let me just try standing in here. So, you know, I, I'm a bigger guy, you know, um, 6'2". I, I have a little bit of trouble uh, kind of moving around as much in there with that sink. Um, I think but you know, if you're a little bit more svelte uh, of a person compared to myself, you're not gonna have any kind of issues. But this is kind of where the pros and cons come in when you're talking a 19 foot motorhome. Uh, the size of the bathroom and the size of the bed are usually your two concessions, in addition to, of course, storage and things like that as well. But uh, those are your kind of big ones. Uh, so those are the big ones you really wanna consider is the size of the bathroom, if it can work for you. And generally, if you're a healthy fit, I don't know, not like me, <laughs> um, you'll be fine. But um, yeah, I, something you should look into. Let's just leave it at that. I don't want to body shame anyone, including myself. <laughs> uh, so uh, nice, beautiful windows back here, though. Uh, super, super nice. Look at that. I mean, they're absolutely huge. So that's a perfect touring vehicle. And uh, here you get a little bit of screens for some uh, some extra airflow. But I kind of like what they're doing here uh, where it's just one huge piece of glass. Um, I know what you're gonna say. Yes, it doesn't open up, uh, you know, and create uh, any airflow, but so what? <laughs> There's a lot of other ones that do. You know, if you're back there and you open these up, believe me, uh, that air gets back there in a hurry. Uh, there's air conditioning from both the coach uh, and the cabin air conditioning up in front that makes its way back here very quickly within five minutes. So you really don't need that extra added airflow. And when you're somewhere, parked somewhere, you know, you're going to have plenty of um, place or things to open to get plenty of airflow through here. And this power fan up on top is the most underrated appliance in here. Uh, it really is. You won't think much of it uh, just by looking at it, but it moves so much air, uh, kind of creates a negative pressure situation in here. So wherever you have even the smallest opening to the outside, uh, such as, you know, like one of the small screens over there, it sucks a lot of air through and crosses air from, you know, that little area all the way up and out. So even if you're sitting way in the back, it's gonna give you a breeze and it's gonna feel like uh, you have the back door wide open with this on. It takes next to no battery power to run this. Uh, there's a rain sensor on it. So yeah, that is going to be your cooling solution. I would say the majority of the time. Uh, again, gets as hot and humid like it is today. You're gonna wanna run that air conditioner, but um, you don't have to all the time, certainly. And speaking of uh, hot and sticky, uh, <laughs> what, what isn't is going to be the ultra leather seating back here. So it's actually quite breathable. So you know, this is a perfect example. It is very hot um, and very humid. 
and you can see, you know, there's, you can even feel that maybe. It doesn't stick. It doesn't, um, you know, have that leathery, kind of crunchy, um, leathery feel as it's actually a breathable fabric. Ultra Leather is, is the actual brand name of it. So it's quite, quite nice. Um, it has got memory foam and breathability. And so you kind of have the breathability of fabric with the easy to clean and comfortable feeling of leather. Uh, so it's a really, really cool solution. So let's just, uh, sorry for the quick pan there. I just gonna try and sit down. Uh, we have our lagoon table here, which is quite nice. This can be moved in any configuration we want. We have our Bose um, uh, sound bar right there, which is gonna fill this whole area with absolutely beautiful sound. I have a similar one in my home theater, and believe me, it fills up a huge room uh, with you know fantastic sound. So uh, in a smaller coach like this, it is gonna be way more than enough with really excellent sound. And it's you know hooked right into the TV, but of course, you can Bluetooth your phone into it or anything else you would want to do. You have your uh, LG Smart TV right there. So that's gonna be nice. It's on a big swivel mount, so it'll come swivel whichever way you want. Uh, this has got the uh, uh, WineGuard Razor antenna. It looks like a satellite dish if you actually looked on top of the roof and it sort of circles around um, and then sort of dials in on the best reception. So it's the best TV antenna on the market by a mile as, you know, realistically, it's going to point it right where you need it uh, and you're going to get the best reception uh, possible. So that's going to be quite nice for you. Okay, we have um, 200 watts of solar, 200 amp hours of lithium ion batteries, we do have a 2000 watt inverter that'll run everything except the air conditioner. And then there is that automatic generator start. So we talked briefly about that before, just kind of um, going into this a little bit here uh, without going into too much detail to overwhelm you. It's just, that there's a little button right here that says AGS and we're gonna hit that and it'll ask you a few questions like, do you want this to turn on when your batteries run low. Do you want this to turn on when the air conditioner needs to cycle? Uh, I would probably have both of those options selected, for instance. And then when the batteries run too low, the generator will automatically start. Like I said, it's about the same decibel level, uh, the same sort of noise as the vehicle idling, which is to say pretty darn quiet. Um, near silent, but I wouldn't say like, you know, totally, um, but you know, not noisy enough by any means to upset neighbors. Um, so that would kick that on. And then, uh, you know, that's gonna preserve as this is actually a propane um, generator on board here. And the nice thing with the propane generator is uh, it's actually, you don't have to exercise that uh, under load. You know, you've heard, if you've done any research on motorhomes, you've heard that, um, you have to exercise generators once a month under load. Well, not quite the case anymore, even with the gasoline ones, as they're fuel injected now versus carbureted. Uh, the other main difference is this is a propane one. The propane ones do not have uh, any reason to, um, any reason to need to be run every month under load. So uh, yeah, you'll get many, many days, probably I would, not really say a week of air conditioner usage depending on where you're at is it's going to turn itself on and it's going to turn itself off it's all sort of thermostatically regulated so very cool and then uh, last but not least we have our mercedes chassis it's going to have the most options out of any of our chassis of course uh, it's going to have active lane keeping assist meaning the wheel will physically move to keep you in the lanes uh, it's going to have adaptive cruise control to, you know, um, automatically speed up, slow down based on how many car lengths ahead of you you want it to do that. Uh, it's going to have um, a radar system for your blind spot. So it's going to tell you actually when a car is approaching the lane next to you and when it's actually in the lane next to you, which is quite nice. Um, let's see what else. It has the 
a very nice um, GPS system, satellite navigation system on board. There's Apple Android CarPlay. Um, pretty much if you, oh, and uh, power heated seats. That's a big one. Uh, it's going to be the only coach that has uh, power heated seats. Uh, they do still swivel, uh, which is nice, but they are power and heated. Um, and they have memory buttons so you can sort of set it to your liking and you're going to be good to go. So, yes, this is our 2023 Ascent. I think you'll agree if you're looking in the 19 foot range, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the woodwork in here is second to none. You know, I would easily say that, um, you know, build quality is, there just isn't anything else like it. And I would include large million dollar class A's in that. I really would. Uh, the, the craftsmanship really is that good. Uh, so these are built to last a lifetime and they frequently do. So my, again, my name is Josh. If you've stuck with me through the whole 21 minutes of this video, good for you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, if you would be, be so kind as to hit the subscribe button, and if you would be so kind as to call and ask for me, Josh, that would be super helpful. Uh, the number here is 414-281-6330. That way I can work with you from start to finish. Uh, and um, yeah, check out our website for current stock availability and pricing. And that's going to be at advancedcamping.com. And there'll be a, a link to that uh, right in the video there. So thanks again, guys. And we'll see you soon.